Hey friends, welcome back to another episode. This one goes out to our most handsome friend, Max, <laughs> who, uh, who gave us some cash just before we left on our trip and said somewhere along the way, have some fun on me. So Max, we, uh, we did exactly that this time. We're gonna go see some critters that are big like you and strong like you, but nowhere near as handsome. Let's go looking for gators. Keep your legs and arms in the boat. It took us about two days to get down to Louisiana. We had a stopover at a Cracker Barrel, Barrel our first time, and we had a great breakfast there. Um, we, la we landed in a nice uh, RV resort near Lafayette and uh, Bow Bridge. Our big goal of Louisiana, or one of them, was to finally see some alligators. I've been looking forward to this. So we booked ourselves the day that we arrived on a swamp tour. We're gonna head off on that with you now. We'll cue up some funky alligator tunes, and let's go for a little boat cruise. found out that we were actually visited at the right time of year. In March, April is a great time to visit because the alligators are mostly outside of the water. They use the water to control their body temperature and so as it heats up, they actually spend more time in the water. Each hole has a blood vessel that runs through it. And it's like a bunch of tiny little solar panels on its back. So they use the sun and the air to heat the bone up and that warms the blood passing through it if it's cold blooded. This is an efficient way to warm up. Now in my book, that's a solar powered animal. Yeah. Also on the boat tour, we saw lots of birds. We saw an osprey nest, some egrets, some whistling tree ducks. So it was a, it was just a great tour and a beautiful sunset. I was impressed with how smart some of the alligators were. If you look at this guy, he's he's built his own house. Really well done. So a quick little break from the gators here just to show you some of the other attractions, uh, including the food. We enjoyed some Cajun food down here, the boudin balls, which are like big pork balls, uh, some shrimp etouffee, some gumbo. So we had a couple of good feeds while we were here. Also took a day trip. Yes, we went and toured the Tabasco factory, which was really interesting. The Tabasco factory is completely run by uh, family owned since, since way back in the day. And adjacent to the Tabasco factory is uh, kind of bird and animal sanctuary that was built by the family because it's all on this area called Avery Island. Uh, we did the tour, we saw some more birds, we saw a big turtle, we saw more alligators. It, it was a great little stop. One of the highlights was the egrets. There were just hundreds of them and back in the early 1900s uh, when their population was endangered, he built kind of a bird sanctuary there and started with I think eight birds and within about 15 to 20 years they were up to back up to about 100,000 egrets and still lots of them migrate back here. So it was quite a sight and a good day out. When we left Lafayette, we stopped in at the Gator Chateau, which is a center that rehabilitates alligators and we were actually able to hold on to one. Uh, her name was Ros Rosalie and um, we also saw a large turtle, Edward. He was 88 years old. He's an old man. He should be an old man time. And uh, a few of the other bigger gators, just that glint in their eye made me think they wouldn't, wouldn't have minded if I accidentally fell over that railing. I think they were looking a little bit hungry. But a fun stop there. Our final gator stop was at a wildlife refuge. And this was a driving tour that you could do around the swamp. And it started out kind of slow. We didn't see too much in the first half. And then we rounded the corner and this happened. 
Hey little buddy, how you doing? Curious? Curious fella? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not getting out, dude. No, I don't think I will. What's next? Nobody. You are just like Max, eh? Any snacks? Holy hell. Hey, big boy. They got no snackies. I'm sorry, bud. You take care. Saw a few more gators as we finished up at the wildlife refuge and we're just about to our next stop in our next episode where to next we're going to spend a couple days on the beaches get out your sunscreen we'll meet you there <laughs>